Next is road construction. Now, just within a week, Governor Babaj Desanwolu has commissioned another network of nine roads and a bridge within Sholui community in Koshafel local government area of the state. It's the turn of Koshafel local government area to receive an upgrade in infrastructure, a network of nine roads, including a bridge within Sholui community area of Lagos. <laughs> Governor Babaji De Sanwolu and his team make their way to the community to hand over the roads. <laughs> the Special Advisor on Works and Infrastructure, Mrs. Aramide Adioye, who oversees all road projects, explains the driving force behind the construction of the new roads. The commission of nine network of roads and bridges in Sholui Community, Koshofe Local Government Area. The event that you're witnessing today signifies the completion of a project and for several reasons it's important. Number one is the fact that it places on record the determination of this government towards doggedness and commitment towards achieving the Great Lagos Better Agenda. And two, it demonstrates the unwavering commitment to energize the local economy and improve the welfare of, and well-being of the citizenry. This project was commissioned, it started in 2017 and then because it fitted into Tim's agenda and it's for the greater good, we are also completing this. In all of this, the cardinal focus of this administration is its policy on inclusiveness that ensures that no part of the state is left behind in the quest to extend development to the inner parts of Lagos. It should be noted that prior to the project inception, the only access in and out of Sholui community Bagada, was via the ever-busy Ayodele Okeowo Street at the beginning there. And it's a road about in the Deeper Life Christian Church. Uh, everybody that knows that road, you know that with the church and then the gridlock that you have there. So you, it's better imagine when you have just a single point of entry into a community. The attendant traffic gridlock arising from high vehicular volume during peak periods necessitated the provision of an alternative route to ameliorate the discomforts residents around the area experience while also addressing environmental challenges. We have provided the bridge. We have also done general site clearance. We've done removal, we've done removal of all of the inadequate drains and fences that were in the right of way. We've excavated unsuitable material in the roadway. We've provided new drainages with cover slab. We've done walkways. We've also done interlocking stone pavement in 45 MPA strength so that it can last us better. In addition, we have also provided street lights with LED lights that doesn't consume power. We've also done, I don't need to cut across the road because we made provisions for crossings at intervals, longitudinally and transversely. The project is one of many others that aim to impact the people's lives positively as they express their gratitude and also use the opportunity to make more requests. Mr. Governor, we are using this opportunity to say a big thank you to you. You and your team. I will want to ask for more. And what am I asking for? Mr. Governor, sir, not quite long. I think about a week ago, we supplied some transformers to our constituents. And you see, we we'll want you to please assist us to talk to uh, both uh, uh, Ikeja Disco and that of uh, Eko to please install those transformers and energize the transformers for them and stop asking the residents for money. We are having nine roads commissioned in the fell swoop is a gain of gratitude. Do you agree with me that today is a great of, a great of, uh, is a day of gratitude? We thank you very much, sir. Mr. Governor, you see, like I said at uh, our last event at Elemoro, good governance is not as to basic characteristics. It is visible and it is feelable. It is visible in the sense that you can see it happening, that this is good governance. All of this that you are seeing, is it not good governance? All these good roads, good schools, good uh, medical care, hospitals, all of this infrastructure development that are going on, it's good governance. And you can also feel it. You can feel it. Look at the, this road now. 
what it does is that it enhances produ productivity and efficiency. Please permit me on behalf of these good people seated here to say and to express our profound gratitude and appreciation for what you have done for the people of this community. Surely, sir, my own quick request, sir, is that Ojota, Taiwo Street, they have, in fact, is very close to me and I'm having a lot of issues. Within our own 100 days, we've been able to construct 10 roads within this community. Sir, there are trunk C roads. And for me, it's just small roads so that we can also um, give back to the people what we campaigned and what we told them we were going to do. Governor Sonwo Lu takes the stage and says the road network is expected to serve about 300,000 residents within Sholuyi, Araromi, Fakogbagada communities and ease traffic within the access. Coming in two and a half years ago, we realized the importance of inter-community engagement and regeneration. We realized how strategic the connections of these roads will be to our citizens and to our people. And so we did not stop. We'll ensure that the contractor was adequately, adequately mobilized and further given assurances that this project will not be a failed project and it has to get back to work immediately. I'm happy that within two and a half years, we have seen the completion of this network of road. It's a total of almost three kilometers, about 2.9 kilometers, and it has a decompile bridge as well. I remembered very well that the SA several times are taking trips to come and monitor and supervise this network of road. And it's because we see that this is not just a fast-growing community. This is a community that is very indigenous, and there's a need for us to ensure that they receive and they feel the real dividends of democracy. And so for us, it's not just to build. Population have shown that this community alone has over 250,000, almost 300,000. So we cannot leave you. And I'm happy, even when I was coming in, that indeed the connection is real and you can feel the impact. The impact is that your committee from different parts of Lagos will have been reduced by not less than one hour. It's because you believe so much that we have shown capacity and we have shown the ability to do it. That's why you are trusting us. And so that is what we need in governance, trust. It has to be a trust between the people that we're governing and the people that are governing. And so we're happy that you have been able to express through your various representatives to say to us that there are transformers that were provided that both the distribution companies need to connect and energize those transformers. We'll take the positive feedback and I can assure you that those transformers will be energized. Government assets are your own assets. Let us take care of them as if you are taking care of your own property as well, because it is from your funds, it is from public funds that we have done this, and so you need to take full ownership of all of the roads and infrastructure that we are passing on to you. The network of nine roads has a total length of 2.840 kilometers and is well lit for night travel. The roads rehabilitated includes Adere Miakeju with a decompile bridge, Oku, Femi Kufo, Brown, 
Adek Benro, Gani Atsdaudu, Yetsunde Brown, Anik Ponle, and Shosonya Streets.